can dance with them. If you want to celebrate with them, celebrate, because this is a celebration. So I now welcome Mr. Green to the stage. Blessings, folks. It's very good to see you. And I mean that seriously. You know, sometimes we take words for granted. You know, when we, uh, uh, you know, when we say certain things. But you know, when you visit at the midnight hour, things become a little bit more important. You know, at first, I would like to, uh, uh, I would like to welcome some guests from San Leandro, from James Baldwin Academy. Okay, James Baldwin, one of my favorite essayists of all time. In fact, my favorite uh, uh, essay by him is the father. I mean, the fire next time. Okay, because what it does is it makes some predictions about you know what's going to happen if we all choose not to work together. Okay, so we have to think about certain things with certain level of in, uh, uh, you know intention. All right, amongst our you know brothers and sisters when we communicate. All right, now to start off the uh, um, the program, we always start off with a prayer, so can I ask everybody to stand up, please? Now, this traditional prayer talks about, you know, the family being together, all right? And after the, uh, um, you know, the good wishes, you know, the thousands of emails, and the cupcakes, autumn with them, uh, uh, Oreo cookies on top, you know, the candy and other things, you know, it was, uh, you know, it was a village that helped me uh, uh, make it through. All right, so heads bowed. Okay, now more than ever, all the family must be together. Everybody everywhere must see the time is drawing near. Because common blood flows through common veins, and all common eyes must see the same. And now more than ever, all the family must be together. Can I have everyone remain standing and let me have Arena Walker out, please? Now, what Arena's going to do is she's going to recite uh, um, you know, a song called either the Negro National Anthem or Lift Every Voice and Sing. It was actually a song that was developed by James and Rosemont Johnson okay, upon the, the, uh, um, you know, the visit. Uh, to an elementary school of Booker T. Washington, who is one of the most important figures in American history. So now Arena's going to sing Left Hand Voice and Sing. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the heart. Uh, rebellion and Renaissance. 
gave the, uh, um, you know, us as a human species, and uh, I tell you, one of the things that you learn in a hospital, especially in ICU, if are, you're there for a long period of time, is that everybody's exactly the same. Okay, out here, we've got these little tribes and things going on, but if you go to ICU and you understand that everybody, number one, needs love at the same point, everybody suffers at the same point, okay, and at some point, okay, those who suffer have something in common because we're all humans. All right, we're all humans, and that's one of the things I learned. So if you look at our journey as humans, it starts 250,000 years ago in Africa. We may remain as Africans for the first 210,000 years. Okay, 40,000 years ago, we start to migrate out of Africa. We establish our own settlement areas, and then we establish our culture. All right, race does not enter in into the picture at all until the 15th century. So it's only been in existence for about 450 out of 250,000 years. Now, what the uh, development of race does is it sets a hierarchy, social hierarchy, they based on skin color. So when we talk about um, these black seeds and how the uh, uh, seeds are disseminated around the Western world, okay, we're talking about a specific group of people okay, that move for certain reasons during the age of exploration. Okay, some for colonization, Okay, but largely through the East and West African slave trade. We're going to focus on the West African slave trade. So these black seeds that we're talking about come through South Carolina. They actually come through a series of islands called the Sea Islands. And African people who come to the English colonies at that period of time, they all come through one specific island called Sullivan's Island. All right, those African people who come through Sullivan's Island bring black rights, okay, which is the foundation cash crop for the English colonies during the colonial period. Portuguese and Spain precede the English colonies about 1503 in the Caribbean, but uh, as far as the English colonies, they developed much later. Okay, the way they got this rice over, since it was not a part of a regular load, can we switch this uh, picture please? through our hair. Now that's Mama Green up there if you don't recognize her. How many of you can see yourself, how many of you had, you know, mamas, aunties, uncles, fathers who did your hair, you can identify with this picture? Yeah, me too, I used to have my hair plaited and French braided. Right? And each time, you know, my mama and uh, uh, Mrs. Green did my hair, they would always fill me with this sacred knowledge. All right, always fill me with the sacred knowledge. But this is how this black rice gets to the West, and then it's later disseminated. Okay, without further ado, black rice. I don't want to get my hair braided. Why not? We have to protect this beautiful hair. You getting ready to go swimming, aren't you? Why do you always call my hair beautiful? Because your hair, like my hair, and our family's hair, is a direct descendant of our ancestors, whose hair was worn in the different tribes, it was worn in battle, and it was worn by our kings and queens. So when you walk daily, I want you to pretend like you have a crown on your head, your crown of glory. What do you mean, crown of glory? Crown of glory because our hair, believe it or not, is what guided us through and helped us through and fed the souls of our people. So your crown and glory is something that you inherited. It's a blessing from God and it's a blessing from our ancestors. So we really sewed rice into our hair. Okay, so our ancestors, we're gonna, getting ready to see something that celebrates the ancestors that I've been talking about. Okay. Um, you can't try to stop it. Yeah, two thousand four, all these matters. You know, I'm a lot of people. Yeah. Quando você quis sapima, 
of us name of Spiller being the name and so the old side of the dinner of cassava stocker, my ear clay, so as it as it cassava, stock on the cassava eat in a leaf, can you have a day? Yeah, that can you that in your in your hard stopper and as it as you have op een andere plaats ben waar je kan planten en op de grond staat groeit het. En als je dat ja. in heeft, heb je zoveel. Ja, ja. Want van die dingen ga je dan weer andere. En toen had ik had, had een mevrouw, zo ben je uh, naam vergeten, een reis in haar haar gezet. En dan, 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 dan had die mevrouw uh, die haar gevlochten en dan waren die reis uh, zaadjes erin. En dan ga ik. Uh, Wezen hoe het gedaan hoe het uh, was gebeurd. Even uh, uh, een voorbeeld geven. Hier heb ik reist. Ja, ik heb hier reist. En dan zit ik op, op Mario nu. Als ik het hier. Op Mario hoef je ook niet veel te hebben. Als je dat een beetje hebt, blijft het heel. Zo had ze het gedaan. Ja. En had ze dat, waar had ze dat gedaan? Heet op het slagenschip, of in Paramaribo of in Afrika? In Afrika. Oké, okay. ja, als ze dat gedaan ja. hebben, dan moet ik het doen. En dan ze haar gevluchten. Het zit al erin. En dan gaat ze dan vluchten. Ja. Zo. Zie je? Ja. Is het weg? Zo was het weg. Okay. So we really sowed rice into our hair. Yes, we sowed rice into our hair so we could spread it across the diaspora. You see, everywhere that rice was planted, it grew. Just like your hair grows on your head. And it fueled not only our people's bellies, but it fueled our cultures and our souls. But what happened when you were riding over here? Just watch. Chanter une chanson pleine de la foi que le passé son vous a appris. Chanter une chanson pleine de l'espoir que le présent nous a apporté. Dieu, on vous remercie de bénir nos ancêtres avec la force nécessaire pour survivre 400 années d'oppression. Merci pour nous avoir donné la persévérance et l'opportunité à grandir. Aux ancêtres, nous vous apprécions tous les jours. Vous êtes nos passés, nos présents, nos futurs et grâce à vous, nous sommes toujours vivants. Malgré tout, les gens noirs existent toujours grâce à Dieu les ancêtres. Nous sommes les fleurs des générations précédentes elle est grande pour les générations à venir. Je suis parce que nous sommes. Rezamos à la légua para abrir los caminos para las negros de la diáspora. El égua, el égua santo bonito, el égua, el égua santo chiquito, el égua caballo negro con la silla colora. Escúchenos por favor. Darnos luz, darnos poder, 
Con el ego vamos a vencer, con el ego vamos a trabajar. Ha, ashe. Mo fe gba ju afun gbogbo ebi mi, ko ma toju wa ni gbogbo aye wa, fun wa ni gba. Adupe lo wa mo baba wa fun wa la yi gba. Egun ori ni mo gbe, egun ori fun ni ira. Egun ori fun ni lafia, mo ju pe mo ju pe gbogbo. Amen. To my ancestors, to those who gave me life. If I ever lose hope, give me the strength and courage to continue. I offer light and for libation. With respect and honor for all my ancestors, named and unnamed, to uplift and liberate their souls in the name of God, I offer this black rice. As a symbol of the ancestors I dispersed across the diaspora in these United States, I offer prayer and protection for all who are gathered here today. In God's name we pray, and may the light, power, and peace of God be with us always. And so it was spoken, and so it will be. Ashe. Packages in the store. What has that got to do with their ancestors? See, the rice didn't start in the store. It started in Africa. Then it was brought to South Carolina, where it fueled not only our people, but it fueled our souls. And it fueled the history of who we are. See, our people, all of our people, have come together now, but we didn't just get here. It was the ancestors that have guided us. It was the ancestors that have taught us. And it was the ancestors that gave us the wealth. And I'm not talking about monetary wealth, I'm talking about cultural wealth. I'm talking about community wealth. And through this wealth, this is what you are. This is what everybody out there is. We are the wealth of the ancestors. Well, I Oh, I never knew getting my hair done meant so much. I love my hair. I really love my hair. When no one noticed, the explosion came from a man whose legal gun was loaded. It's all watered down and sugar-coated. We voted, but did we really get to choose? We don't need proof that they separate us from the truth. Mothers and fathers are being separated from their youth, and they're selling the American dream and what it appears to be, but they don't teach us that wealth is unattainable with their currency. History is not my brother's story. The original founders were buried in the ground where men have planted seeds of disease and they justified being thieves, feeding their inner demons and blaming the minorities. It's a World War III, corruption versus greed, not you versus me. But did we ever think of the need for inner peace? They can't put a price on your soul. Don't matter your religion, right and wrong is something everybody knows. They pick and choose what's equal, who's good and who's evil. And this is the devil's world, but the Lord is coming for his people. Looking in the jaws of death, we read. 
In order to understand the brutality of American capitalism, you must understand its beginnings. The black men, women, little girls, little boys, the constant bleeding and suffering, the constant wondering why their black wasn't good enough, why their flesh wasn't human enough, if taking off their black skin and hanging it on the nearest tree would satisfy the white man's needs, picking cotton until their hands bleed. But that's the thing, this slavery isn't over, it's just taking a different form. Instead of picking cotton until your hands bleed, it's holding your son's blood, bloody, bloody body in his hands as he says, Mom, I'm sorry is knowing that no matter what you do, you'll never be able to protect him from a system that wasn't built for you in a world that doesn't love you. But that's the thing, the system was built on you, built at the hands of black men and women who refused to give up, built up by the, black hand, by the hands of black men and women who despite their sufferings, survived and thrived. The American economy, the wealth that America has, began with us. And now its future is up to all of us. Here is a story told to the children of Africa. We love the children of Africa. Teaching the children. Stand majestic with the black king Today I'll sing you a black song You need to hear about beautiful black things Cause most time we hear about black We hear about black magic and black witches Black list, black book, black market Black Friday, stand off your black witches I've never seen a doctor in black I've seen a black king to kill a black people But I've seen bush doctors like Cush and Molly Resurrect like a real black people Malcolm, Marcus, Monty when you see white and rock, they ask me How you not hear about how we laugh it? So when the little offspring ask me, tell them They never told us That black is beautiful They never told us Black is beautiful They never told us That black is beautiful They never told us They never told us that black is beautiful
Quite the up or to an extent, freedom wasn't 100%, and it caused discontent, and there was no relent. So, we had a revolution in Harlem neighborhood. The culture was popping, and the literature was good. Alan Log introduced the Negro, 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 helped us better ourselves about the Afro. Last name, Robeson, first name, Paul. Rebelled against the system, so we could do it all. 
the symbol of the bro shine in black power. Let freedom ring, Dr. King at every hour. The black power moving blossom like a flower. Malcolm X taught us how to empower ourselves and the whole black community and demonstrate our attainability. Influence hip hop and modern movements so we can straighten things out, foster improvements in society. Who improves mass incarceration? Where police brutality brings salvation, and the death of us is the death of a nation. So we won't take no more degradation. But in the same, we cannot fret, love ourselves, educate, heighten our mindsets, look to the future, and foster change and reach heights of unforeseen range. So let's go out and truly shine bright. Rebellion is the spark of our lasting life. Thank you, class. For years, the black woman has been told that she had no power, that she was worthless. The black woman gave birth to a nation. The black woman is the mother of civilization. When they sit down, she stood up. When they silenced her, she spoke up. Imagine being so powerful that a whole nation tried to strip you of your culture by doing everything humanly possible. They beat us, they kicked us, they stripped us. They tried to take away our power, but they couldn't touch our spirit. They harmed our flesh, but they still couldn't touch our spirit. Black women were told to cover their crowns in rags. We created beautiful raps despite being oppressed. We still know who we are despite America's intention of robbing us of our identity. What they don't know is, whatever, no matter what they do, we will never forget our history. They, they tried, tried to, to take everything. everything. They said sit down. We, we stood up. up. They took our crowns. We, we created, created a movement. movement. At 15, I became the most important Ethiopian general during the anti-fascist wars against Italy. My rebel group would rescue Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie, and we swore not to cut our hair until he was free. He was the only African leader to successfully resist European imperialism during the age of colonialism, and as a result, gained legendary status in the African liberation movement. In 1936, he addressed the League of Nations about European imperialism and the harm it's causing worldwide. Unto the philosophy that holds one race superior and another inferior is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned, there will be war. And until there is no longer first class and second class citizens of any nation, there will be war. And until the color of a man's skin is no more significant than the color of his eyes, there will be war.
today okay, to have a, uh, a griot. So what a griot is, as original historians of all of us, all humans, they actually relay the, uh, the story of the family orally many times to music. Okay, this griot is from Senegal. All right? His great uncle is uh, one of my favorite authors, Shikante Jiao. All right, so Shikante Jia wrote the foundation history of Africa. Okay, our guest was actually from Wakanda, and the reason why he's from Wakanda is he's the musical director of the movie Black Panther. It's here to share with us okay, not only some music, but some oral history about all of our people, because our original language, everybody in here was percussion. All right, and percussion sounds from the mouth and later from different instruments. All right, without further ado, okay, I'm gonna announce our guest speaker, and we'll talk about him uh, later. Okay, from Wakanda, Senegal, Osama Chia. Today, I'm very happy to be here. My name is Masamba. Masamba. Say the name. Masamba. I come from Senegal, West Africa. Yeah. I'm the Glio family. I play this drum. You guys see the drum? You guys know this drum before? What's the name of the drum? Talking drum. Huh? Talking drum. Okay, talking drum. 
In Africa, we call Tama Drum. They say the name Tama Drum, T A M A. Tama Drum. Okay. We call in Africa Tama Drum. If we were in the world, we call this talking drum. Today, I'm coming to have fun with you guys, to show you about Africa, about Tama Drum, talking drum, about the Griot family, about Africa. On and on and on and on and on. I just want to say, you guys be sorry to me, but my English is not very good. I'm French people. But I'm very happy to be communicating with you guys. I just try. Sometimes I say one word is not very right. Be sorry for that. Okay? Okay. You guys say this drum is the name. Tama drum. Everywhere in the world call. Why we call this talking drum? Huh? Communicating. Yeah, that's a good idea. But I need why we call this talking drum. You can communicate with the bamboo drum. We can communicate with the drums here. You can communicate with a uh, congas drum. But this drum that, that we don't call only. We call the only this drum talking drum. My question for you guys before we go, we, 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 we going. What's the name? Why we call this talking drum? It's talking. Huh? Oh, that's a very good idea. Yeah, you're on the way. You open the door, but you're not coming inside the room yet. <laughs> Who knows why we call this talking drum? It's storytelling. That's good. You, you, you. you you open the door, you, you put your foot like this, but you don't go inside. Why we call this talking drum? That's why. You guys want to know? Yes. Uh-huh. But in Africa, we, my father said, to teach me, my father said, Masamba, if you see something you never see, or if you see something you don't know very well, you have to be pay attention and careful and watch and listen and keep it. Don't forget it. Why we call this talking drum? I want everybody to say, do like deep breath, like <sighs> one more time. You guys gonna listen. Only this drum breathing in the world. You gonna listen to this talking drum breathing? African party yellow. Everybody. African party yellow. African party yellow.
song for you guys. The song called Samawai, Samawai. Say the name Samawai, Samawai. But everywhere, everywhere in the world, I see the people, everybody have two different why. Some why, why means friend, my friend, my friend. Some why, some why. Say that. Some why, some why. My friend, my friend. Why I write this song? That's why I write this song. I see everywhere you go, you have one friend, they come to me, say, hey, Masamba, you're my friend, I like you, Masamba. Oh, Masamba is my friend, Masamba is a good friend. Masamba is he laughing me, jumping, we have fun. When I go backstage, they say, oh, Masamba is a bad man. Wow. That's not nice. But everywhere you go, I, you see one of the guys say, oh, Tony is my friend. Mr. Green is my friend. He's my brother. I like you. You go to the home, I say, I owe you. Mr. Green is my friend. You go to Pakistan, I say, you're my friend. You go to your class, I say, you're my friend. That's a right friend. Why I write some more why? Some more why. I want everybody to sing with me in dance, in jump, and do what you want to do. Have fun. Today is fun. You guys ready? You guys ready? I think you guys are going to come and sit here with me. But I love you guys doing Okay. Okay. You guys need to dance and sing here with me? The song called Summer Why, Summer Why. You ready? I want to hear Summer Why, Summer Why. Summer Why, Summer Why. Hey! You guys need to dance and sing with me? You guys need to dance and sing with me? I love you guys.